Welcome to Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts. Today is the day we pick a new president. A final and funny look from behind the scenes of the campaign trail. And I'm meteorologist John Scalzi. And I'm Linda Larson, his wife and motivational speaker. And we love live music and theater. And we're very excited to hear a surprise sounds of the Suncoast from a string quintet. I'm Bo Beth. Sarasota is known for its mid-century modern architecture, and we'll take you on a special tour of a renovated masterpiece. And I'm Linda Carson. I know a thing or two about sticking it to people, and we're all going to give it a try today with a sword-fighting lesson from the Sarasota Medieval Fair. All that more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show, and a warm welcome back to the oh. 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 Gentlemen. Oh. Gentlemen. Oh. Gentlemen. Oh. Wow. Oh. Are we on opposite sides of the political fence? <laughs> you might say that. <laughs> He's the king. I am the king. Oh. I guess. Who are you, the assassin? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm a peon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, no, are either of you guys single? <laughs> uh, oh, well, watch so, them leave you know, now. That always happens. What yeah. are we talking about here? You put it into that argument. Well, we are talking about the Sarasota Medieval Fair yes. is what we are talking about. This is not election related, we promise. But you will be able to see this kind of action right. for the next couple of weekends. Uh -oh. We will get more action from the gentlemen, dare I label them that? <laughs> Warriors. Very Warriors. Yes. yes, coming up wow. in just a few minutes. So that woke me right up. It scared me. <laughs> Yeah, it's been I that kind of day. Cool. You never know when the battle shall occur. You know what's so. funny? Because I kind of knew, I saw them, and I knew they were going to have something, but I didn't know it was going to happen. <laughs> they were going to hurt each other, and yeah. that they were going to be. Because those are real swords. It so much. Yes. <laughs> well, it is good to have them here, and we will find out more about the Sarasota Medieval Fair, a great tradition coming up. Great to have John and Linda with us as well. Yes. Always a pleasure. Good. Nice we're going to have here. a lot of fun today, and everybody looking very patriotic, which I love. We managed to go every other without knowing who was wearing what or who, who chose you what for why. Color. Assume nothing from red and blue up here. People were just color it coordinated. Was just what was in our <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all so. by accident, just like this entire election. Cycle. Just like we all. <laughs> <laughs> Assume it all goes. So anyway. But it's amazing how it just worked out so well. Let's hope the rest of the day goes yes. as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know where things are good, and that is in the kitchen. And we want to welcome back our friend, Chef Narendra Saud from Curry Station. What are we making today? Thank you, Stephanie. We are making today, it's called vegetable momo. Momo? Yeah, it's a kind of dumpling, same like a Chinese dumpling, but we spice with the... Uh, all the spices and this is very famous in India, Nepal, Tibet and Bhutan. Mm. And we are serving with the roasted tomato chutney and it's very Ooh. delicious, yes. Mm. All right, and you always bring wonderful spices. John and Linda, you are here on a special day and I know you like Indian, Indian cuisine. Mm. You know, so. I love the taste, but you also got to say, just the aromas that come mm -hmm. out of the kitchen mm -hmm. are just so fantastic. And he, tr he cooks a lot of different flavors and different uh, cuisines. But Indian is one he never seems to really master. No, well, that's no. why you that's go to Curry Station. That's yeah. why. Exactly. Yep, there you go. Yes. That, to me, Indian food is very confusing because it involves so many different spices. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to go out for that. So John does a lot of the cooking? Oh, he does 98% of the cooking. Oh, you my do goodness. Of the oh, my goodness. I do 98% <laughs> of the eating. Yes, I am. <laughs> Way to marry well, Linda. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Good choice. Snap. And they do lots of fun things together as well. We did some social media sleuthing. Mm -hmm. And, Linda, this is going to make you very jealous. Linda Carson. Uh, oh, no. You yes. got to see Hamilton? <laughs> Somebody else that went to see Hamilton without oh, Linda Carson. Oh, I would have met you there. <laughs> well, they're opening up a whole new block of tickets, so you, you should yes. put in for them. Yes. In May, apparently. And in was May. it a wonderful oh. experience? Amazing. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Uh, I have like five top shows in my life uh -huh. that I've seen, uh -huh. and that is number probably one. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Right now it's number one. It could get uh, you know bumped out, but I love that show. 
Oh, yeah. that's love so good it. to hear. Love it. Now, I also, we both did, we read Ron Chernow's book first, and we read the mm -hmm. history of the making of this play, mm -hmm. so we had a greater understanding. I read the lyrics, but you can understand the lyrics. It is a brilliantly oh. done show. Yeah. Wow. Some people, I think, will have to get past the fact that, it, that uh, about 30 or 40 percent of it is in rap. Right. So you have to get past that. But I okay. like that. I like that too. <laughs> I thought it was great. It really moved the story along. It was always forward go. It was just wonderful. It was like Shakespeare. Well, good. good. I just good, think good. it's amazing that that they have turned something that people would be bored with yes. and didn't want to learn in school, and now right. it's just become so popular. Everyone wants to see this mm -hmm. play. Well, Which one I of the think cool the things they thing. did actually, Lin Manuel Miranda made it a point to bring students, children, in from the school systems around uh, the tri-borough, tri-state area every week for a performance to get, you know, kind of into the whole history background. And then they took it into the schools with little programs. And by the end of, uh, end of the school year, the kids all put on their own Hamilton play. So wow. it, was, it really was, it made that very important thing. I can probably get a ticket to one of those plays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the real <laughs> Hamilton. Yeah. We also found that Linda is exactly where she should be today. Oh. Apparently, <laughs> you took a little Facebook thing that said, which job suits your personality best? And the answer, John, did you know this? Came out talk show host. Oh, my gosh. How perfect. I love it. I, I love, love it, too. Yeah. Yes. How about that? So but she is a great motivational speaker. You go on her website. I take all my guests to see your website, and they <laughs> roar. It's so oh, funny. All right, well, Linda, yeah, let me give you a little clue. Sitting here and kind of running the ship every day is like being a motivational speaker oh, when you two go at it. Yeah. So, Linda, you are well-versed to be here with us. I love it. You I never know it. when they're going to need some positive energy. Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, All right, well, that. lots of positive Sorry. energy coming right now. It is time for our first hot topic. Here's the positive. We have seen the last of the campaigning and hopefully the mudslinging. So we thought our last look at the 2016 presidential candidates should be a bit of a humorous one. The Hillary Clinton camp showed that they are hip and cool on their campaign plane. They jumped in on the now trending mannequin challenge. What is it? People strike a dramatic pose and freeze. Why, you ask? We have no idea. <laughs> but it is all over the internet. So welcome to the bandwagon, Hillary. Also trending, Snapchat filter. So here's Trump's daughter's last post being funny. Perhaps they're also just relieved as puppy dogs that the campaign is finally over. Aww. And by the way, a good friend of ours, stunt daredevil Bello, sent us this pic from Aww. his show in Paris. He wrote on Facebook with the photo saying, no matter who you vote for, I will I'm still love you. <laughs> and these are two of the stars that he shares the stage with. A donkey. Aww. And an elephant. And they oh, probably get along fine. And they probably do. So we love you nice. too, Bello. Hey, if they can do it, we can do it. That's right. <laughs> yes. The donkey and the elephant united. That's, That's what it. we're all hoping for yes. as the day goes on. So, you know, you got to laugh at this point as we wrap everything up. Polls are open till 7. Everyone, please get out the vote. Taking a look at some other topics to chat about. Many schools send their kids to the principal's office for detention or misbehavior. A Baltimore school is trying a different approach. Students who are disruptive in class are sent to the mindful moment room. Their staff members encourage them to think about what they did wrong and then they sit down for breathing exercises. They close their eyes, they inhale and exhale. Scientists say that mindful meditation can be a good armor against disruptive emotion and it has more positive results than just punishment. Linda, I know you're a meditator. What do you think about this? Oh, I think it's absolutely brilliant. And I will, will say this, it, it's very, very calming. You can learn to do it. You can get better at it every time you try. And there is nothing that can help you more through this election than taking a few moments every day, a couple of times a day, and just calming yourself. Well, Beth, you were going to work on meditating. Did you ever get to that? I didn't get to it, but you know, I, I actually think it's a um, this idea, I, I actually agree with meditation. I just don't think this idea will translate well in the schools. Have you ever been to a middle school or elementary <laughs> school? Hey, I live in one practically, I so mean, yeah. They can't sit still for two seconds, much less to get them in the mindset of wanting mm -hmm. to meditate. I think meditation is something you have to want and try to do. Yeah, I think that's It's going to be hard to get the kids to do that. That's my only But I do like it. them taking a deep breath, because often what happens is, you know, there'll be an altercation, there'll be a disruption, and if you get sent to the principal's office, 
you just get in more trouble, which mm -hmm. tends to agitate no, you. I love And if you get idea. sent to detention, no. first of all, it's a huge waste of time. And second of all, you brood. You just sit there and uh -huh. think, this is so stupid. These people are so dumb. You know, yes. at least if they can be taught to work on their mindset. Yes. Mm -hmm. If they can calm I themselves. I love right. the idea. You have to do I'm it just yourself. worried about implementation for that young yeah. generation. Being the teacher that has to yeah. do this. Yes. Yes. There are a lot of studies that say it can be very effective for young kids yeah. like that. I think it's how you do it. You don't say just sit there and don't think about anything for five minutes or you know mm -hmm. calm yourself down right but there's ways to do it that are like like fun little game like just listen for a second I want you to count the number of times your breath goes in and out see how long you can make that <laughs> breath go and so they just all of a sudden they have a task <laughs> and, and we're not going to meditate here because you're going to hear me in your numbers. ear. So I got to count with my fingers. So you guys didn't have this issue where your mom told you to sit down and think about what you did. Oh, you don't, that, you do you don't have to. <laughs> that, that is, that's that's what this is. No. Sit there and think about what you well, did. I think it's more <laughs> guided than nothing. that because when they tell you to sit down there and think about what you did, you sit there and think about how much you don't like the person that made you sit there. Yes, usually. exactly. You know, whereas if this is more guided, I think yeah, in terms I of hope. it. But hey, I think you know what? Anything that can help. resist it initially, and then maybe eventually they will get better and better at it. Yeah. In spite, themselves. in spite of themselves. let them sit there themselves. long enough, they'll get it together. Well, in spite of yourself, do you they'll have to put on a happy face at work? And should it be mandatory? Well, Trader Joe's says it is, and an employee disagrees. So a New York Trader Joe's worker was fired for his overly negative attitude, paired with what was described as an obviously fake smile. Well, he filed an unfair labor practices charge against the grocery chain. Did you know federal labor law protects all employees' rights to complain about their working conditions to the public, and that includes customers? But that doesn't seem to mesh so well with good customer service. They're going to fight it out in court, but should employers force employees to be cheerful. I think this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think absolutely. I'm not going to go in there and deal with a grouchy, nasty person. There's nothing worse with you customer don't want service. To. You don't want yeah. to deal with, because that is contagious. The same way a smile yes. is contagious, negative attitudes are contagious. Right. And I just find it hilarious that this man is fighting for his right to be mean and serious. <laughs> like, think about it. Like, he says, I have a right to be upset and walk around with a frown. Who are you to tell but me? But you I don't can't? have a right to have a job here if that's you do. That's and that's agree. the point. I agree. And the study actually went on to talk about whether or not employers could force employees in general to be happy. Should your cheerfulness and attitude be part of your work contract? You don't have to be cheerful. I think it is for us. You just us. have to be polite. Yeah. Yes. And outwardly pleasant and yes. respectful. I, I think it comes down to two things here, if I can jump in. Number one would be hiring in the first place. Yeah. Hire the you know you can you can ask them you can talk to them you can get a general feeling of how happy they are as automatically mm -hmm. and the second thing is if you're an employer create the kind of conditions in the workplace that yeah. make people yeah. want to smile so I think there's ways I don't to know. approach there's some it. people that will not smile about I'm not going to hire them true. and then I'll fire <laughs> them if they this don't. Guy <laughs> seems like one of those people wouldn't smile for anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no I don't know and Trader Joe's workers are usually pretty cheerful. Yeah so. they are. Yeah. All right customer service lives on. Well since mm. we're all focused on state trends on this election day here's a fun study. Which states have the biggest bling? An analysis of consumer engagement ring purchases So size matters in California. They come out on top for biggest engagement rings. I could have guessed that. But quality comes in in Nevada. That's where people spend the most money. Oh. Or lose the most. Or, yes, exactly. <laughs> Alaska has the highest rate of engagement ring returns and oh, by the way, Florida came in fourth for returns. Who's faking it? Wyoming. They sold the most lab created oh, diamonds. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, a funny thing in Pennsylvania a historic house, 300 years old. There's a big scratch across the window upstairs. The young man gave the young lady a diamond. She went upstairs and scratched the window to see if it was real. It was, but he saw her and he came back and got his diamond and left. So <laughs> <laughs> don't check it till he's gone. Yeah, right? I guess that's a good way to look at it. So Florida's fourth for returning diamonds. I don't know what our problem is. But we change our mind very quickly. I guess. <laughs> so, I guess so. The candidates knew that. They keep coming back. Yeah, yeah, good point. All right, John, sorry to stereotype here, but most men do not want to be dragged around the mall with their wives. 
women don't like to shop with a dead weight wandering behind. I've heard Linda Carson say that. So here's the perfect solution. A Shanghai mall just opened a husband nursery over the weekend. <laughs> women are encouraged to drop their husbands off. This room has comfy chairs, TV, refreshments, even a massage chair. I thought all malls had these and they were called minute. bars. Go there. But the Chinese name translates directly, and I cannot read you these Asian symbols, but to English, husband storage room, okay. <laughs> <laughs> which we think is quite appropriate. Yes. So, I like this idea. I just thought that was what every bar in the mall was yeah, for. Yeah, we already had that worked out. We walk in, Bud goes to the bar, I go shopping. <laughs> right. John asks for the man chair. I have every to have a man chair. Yes. We walk in, he goes, where's your man chair? And then there he, we will find him. Yeah. And those <laughs> are the stores like, that I will oh, go into with my then, wife. Then where the man chair is. Where do you go, yeah. John? Hmm? Why do you go for he loves to be with me. Well, it's <laughs> just like, you know, we go out, we like to be together, but I also don't like to watch her shop. Okay, so but we're going to ask a question. Who is going to pay for the items? Does, do you want him to go or do you <laughs> do you rather, would you rather he stay home? I'd rather shop alone because I can browse and pick. I always and feel like he's, even as good as he is, he sits on his phone and works on his phone. I still feel like it's holding him up. Yes. So I'd yes. like to do it by myself. Me too. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we just solved a marriage <laughs> problem. No problem. Uh -oh. All right, well, that sword fight is a problem and it is on its way back. We're going to learn how to sword fight too and that's all right after our happy hour forecast. Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your happy hour forecast. Great weather for voting today and this election day all across most of the nation. There's a storm system over the central U.S. It's been causing some problems, but not much. That frontal boundary, uh, by the way, is going to eventually change our weather around a little bit. You can see it developing over the central U.S. and some pretty heavy rain down south near Houston and near the southern end of Louisiana. Currently here, though, beautiful. We have partly cloudy skies, 84, a little bit warm, dew point at 56, and the humidity is quite comfortable, 38 percent. Winds out of the southeast at 7, and the pressure 30.07. That continues to hold steady right now. You can see that rain uh, moving through parts of Indiana, Ohio, stretching down south into uh, Missouri as well as southern Illinois, but not really a heavy rain and some showers over the panhandle of Florida. But for us, we're high and dry, and we'll stay that way through closing hours for the polls up to 7 o'clock. Things looking good here for the remainder of this evening. Uh, we will talk about this cold front and the rain chances coming up at 5. See you then. The Sarasota Medieval Fair has been a staple at the Sun Coast for over a decade now. And today we are going to get a peek inside the world of knights and squires and sword fighting. Doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? Well, please welcome the artistic director of Dean Bowden and Daniel Taylor, who's also known as Richard the Lionheart, your majesty. What a great time this is. Now, Dean, you are actually acting out a part of history with the Medieval Fair, right? Absolutely. This year, we're set in the year 1199, which was uh, Richard had gone to Aquitaine to reclaim his dukedom. There were some barons and some counts who were acting up and wanted to kick him out. So this is him going there to uh, suppress it. The battle. Okay, what will we see if we come to the fair? You will see human combat chess match where pieces on the board fight to take the square. You will also wow. see jousting with knights in big armor hitting each other with sticks. And you will also see washing well winches, and we've got um, <laughs> acrobats, um, a great kids realm with face painting and all that sort of thing. So, well, good stuff and good food. A lot of sword fighting. Yes. So can you teach us to sword fight without having us kill you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to try. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is the real thing, by this the way. This is actual yeah. steel, absolutely. And they're it, heavy. It is. Very heavy. Some of them are heavy. Um, it is actually blunted so that we're not actually going to be able to cut anything off with it unless you strike <laughs> you really hope. hard. You hope. All right. Okay, so take it me. easy on me. Okay, all right. Here we go. All right. Linda, so don't kill you go him, strike one. One. So, other side is two. two. Good. And then my shoulder is Boy. three. And other shoulder, other shoulder, four. four. And then on my head. Look out. Oh, 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 impressive. Wow. Good Not line. bad for a first Thank time. Thank you very wow. much. Okay, let's see if you guys can do it. You All right, ladies. It's so easy. All right, John and Linda. Both okay. you and I should move. Right. Move on up. You, you be up. Oh. I just want to get out of the way. I don't really. want to figure out where we're safe. The way. Okay. Again, you want, you want to... me to attack? Yes! <laughs> oh, this is me. All, right. okay. All right, so you want to... <laughs> <laughs> All right, strike one. Huh? Good. Other side. Two. No, right. And then, all right. Ah, oh, that'll oh, work. Wait. And uh, <laughs> there. Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm not one. You got five. There you go. Excellent, excellent, I excellent. I love it. Very 
<laughs> All right, you ready? All right, ladies. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's going to be Very defense. Chancy. She's going to defend? All right. That's defense. 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 Your first strike, you're going to go towards her left hip. Oh, that's yep. this way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one, and then the other side. Two, and the same shoulder. Three, and the other shoulder. Four, and then oh, wow. five. <laughs> Died. Amazing. I made it. Amazing. I'm just happy I wasn't Linda's partner because I was afraid. <laughs> yeah, really. How truly done, Dean. All right, Dan, so let's go this through, through all through eight, okay? All right. Ready? And go. One. Two. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. wow. Very that interesting. Nice. Amazing. Now, I do have a question. You oh, said that I, you were doing the 1199 battle this uh -huh. year. So does that mean you do different things different years? If we've been in the past, is this a new show? Absolutely. We change the scenario every single year. So we may do a 900. We may do 1400. Oh, we may do something in the middle. I, I challenge you to a duel. You, oh, oh, wow. you know, wow. I've heard such stories about you. I don't know if Get I'm going to survive. Get over there. Okay. All right, okay. ready? Should we and get off stage? One. No, you're fine where you are. Two. It is fun. You hired a lot of local people, too, didn't we you? We have 60 cast members, all local. All local. Well, when John really knows that? how to do this, because he's an actor, and so is Linda. No, you you so guys much. do it John, again. John, you so show much. us again. You, show you do it with him, then. Yes. What, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> John, don't you have a fencing background? I didn't sign any well, way back when in college I took some fencing classes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to wait. That was 30 it years ago. What? What are we doing? I don't know. This Same is my choreograph. Same thing she just did. What? All right. Ready? All right. What are you doing? Other side. Other side. Same shoulder. Same shoulder. Other shoulder. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, well done, well done. through November 20th, so don't miss this. And you can go to SarasotaMedievalFair.com for more information. Next coming up, Money Matters. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have we been married, dear? For 76 years. He was kind and generous to me before we married, and he was kind and generous to me all these years. We decided on meals on wheels because I was getting to the point where I couldn't do all the things that I had been able to do. We're the Spans. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourselves. So many possibilities worth exploring, Minnesota flooring. An important message for Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you receiving all the benefits available to you? Do you know there is money available to lower your Medicare prescription costs? Now is the time to find the coverage that's right for you at the right price. The way to do that is to explore your options. You can spend hours doing that yourself, or you can call Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you, with no cost or obligation. We'll search a variety of plans from nationally recognized companies to find the coverage that's the best fit for you at a price that fits your budget, and we'll do it at no charge to you. Plus, you may be able to save money on prescriptions. We'll tell you if you qualify. Why pay a penny more than you have to for an insurance policy? Let us find you the right plan at the right price and see if you qualify to lower your prescription costs. Put our free service to work for you at no charge. Call the number on the screen now to make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Don't wait, call now. If you have a suspicion for harboring prostate cancer, we have a way of diagnosing by using an exquisite instrument called three-dimensional color flow power Doppler ultrasound. Using this system, we can identify abnormalities within the prostate that you could otherwise never detect. The Detoli Cancer Center is the only center in the southeastern United States which has this technology. If you have prostate cancer, we will find it. 
Welcome back with all our minds on the election today. We're all wondering what it will mean for our future. In today's Money Matters, our financial expert and ABC7 business commentator Richard Stern tells us just how the election years have impacted the stock market in the past. Well, welcome, Richard, and oh, we're all on edge. You think? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Monday was a good start. Good direction. Correct. Okay. Exactly. Let's so, see. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little not after time four yet. in the afternoon, <laughs> so we still have to worry about it. But and then uh, tomorrow, and then the day after there that. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Well, just by a little bit of background, so far this year, the Standard and Poor's 500 index is up by just over four percent. Okay. That's good. That's so kind of a measuring stick for us. Mm -hmm. In the last 22 elections since 1928. Of those, only four years of those 22 has the market actually been down oh, during wow. the presidential election year. So huh. historically, the market's up. Now, that being said, let's take a look at a few of the elections that are a little more current that I think we can remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, this would be the year I remember. 2000. Oh, yeah. You remember those guys? Oh. Oh, I think yes. in Florida we had a little bit of a problem. Is that Hanging recall? chads. Hanging yeah. chads. Uh, which time zone are we in, et cetera, et cetera. So do we think the stock market was up or down in the year 2000? I'm going to say down. I'm going to say up. I'm going to say up. It was up. I'm going to say up. And the answer was it was down by 9.1%. Oh, 9. no. Oh, really? <laughs> Nine. I, I remember wow. the chaos. <laughs> the, <laughs> you think, yes, I, I think we all remember it. Certainly we've been in Florida for a while. Now, in 2004, uh, President Bush ran against Governor Kerry, oh. and uh, if you recall, what do you think the election uh, results or what did the market do in 2004? Uh, up. Up oh, is up. exactly right. Up. It was I up remember by, that. Up oh, by 10.9%. <laughs> 10, <laughs> that was a very good year. That was wow. a very good year. Up by 10 point. That's a good year. 11%. We, yeah. we, don't, uh, we, we don't care. That's, that's right. a good number. Yes. Now, speaking of not a good number, let's take uh -oh. a look at 2008. I think we all know what the answer to this one is. Well, you remember 2008, we had a yeah. few extenuating no circumstances. Problem. We had a little bit of a banking crisis. We had a few companies right. go out of yeah. business, right. et cetera. Yeah. So I guess I'm giving you a little bit of a hint. But the big October crash. 2008, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. was a record. The oh, yeah. S&P was down 37 oh, percent in one it's year. It's hard to believe we survived that. So if you had a $100,000 account at the beginning of the year, you had Sixty-three thousand at the end of the year. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked out well for me. That's an election we'd like to forget, yes. right? Yes. At least as far as stock market performance. Yes. Exactly. Now let's move forward to 2012. Up. Governor Romney, President Obama. The results that year were. Up. Anybody want to hazard a guess? Up. Well, they, they were, were up. up. Up very sharply, 16 yeah. percent. Wow. So what you see is that, interestingly enough, going all the way back to 1928, there have only been four down years, but hmm. two of them are in this timeline. 2000 oh. and 2008. So it looks like it's getting a little more volatile. There's not a slam dunk anymore that the stock market will be higher during an election. But 2008 year. did have all those extenuating oh, circumstances. No so we're not going to sweat that one out, I don't think. I'm concentrating on the most recent. But if it goes up, how long will that last? Well, we'll have to see. Remember, we still have a little bit of time to go this year, uh -huh. but we're up 4.8% going into today. So we'll have to see how I'm that hoping works for out. a little I like your optimism. We're, we're going to hope it keeps interest. climbing in there. Yes. That way I can pull my money out after it climbs. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, thank you, Richard. You always You're make welcome. us feel smarter. And next, a five string assembly will be here with a surprise sounds of the sentence. It's the Crystal Classic International Sand Sculpting Festival on Siesta Beach, November 11th through 15th, with 24 of the world's best sand sculptors. Bring the family for new hands-on kids activities, live music, food, sand sculpting lessons, and more. See SiestaKeyCrystalClassic.com for details. Alex Karras Lincoln's Holiday Sales Event is here. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Gold fever has once again swept the nation. 
and everyone is rushing to Florida to strike it doubly rich. Introducing the $5 million Gold Rush Doubler. We're doubling cash prizes for over $752 million in payouts and 36 prizes from $1 million to $5 million. The Florida Gold Rush is on. The Florida Lottery, just imagine. Christmas Tradition by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Sometimes, when the course is difficult and you might take a step where you could fall, it's important to trust and ask for help. That's one of the most important things we learned at Tideball's Teen Grief Retreat. On your grief journey, there are going to be difficult parts, but you have to trust in yourself and your support systems and know there are people around who will help you make it through. Tidewall Hospice. It's more than you think. Come see the Crystal Classic International Sand Sculpting Festival November 11th through 15th on Siesta Beach. Check out the Crystal Classic Party Tent produced by Siesta Key Chamber of Commerce and Moat Marine. Details including remote parking via SCAT. Visit SiestaKeyCrystalClassic.com. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We will be joining Chef Narendra Saud from Curry Station in the kitchen. We are making MoMA, going to utilize some great Indian spices and learn about a new type of cuisine. We'll see you in a few minutes, John. Thanks, Stephanie. You know, when you think about a musical quintet, you usually think about classical music, but the, the group uh, Sybarite Five kind of challenges that definition with a fusion of rock music and experimental music. And we are so pleased here on the Sun Coast View to give you a preview on our Sounds of the Sun Coast. Ladies and gentlemen, Sybarite 5. Thank you. 
sounds out of those instruments that I've never heard before. That's just amazing. Well, the name, Sybarite 5, where'd that come from? Well, Sybarite 5 comes from Greek mythology, the ancient town of Sybaris. They were known for charming their enemies by playing music. And I grew up here in Sarasota, and it was also the name of my grandfather's boat, the Sybarite. And oh. that was docked right here in Sarasota. Oh, how cool. How appropriate that uh, music yes. brings everybody together if, on if this only election day. politics <laughs> could do that today. Well, how did you guys all come together? How did you guys all come We together? met at a place called the Aspen Music Festival in school, oh, and we're based okay. in New York City. Okay. So you all, I'm guessing, come from classical backgrounds, is that right? Mm -hmm. Classically trained musicians. How did you make the decision to, to embrace this form of music? Well, um, we started out as a, as a group of five players, and there wasn't a lot of repertoire for us to perform. Right. Mm -hmm. Mozart didn't write very many <laughs> string quintets. He wrote some. Right. So we decided that we would just take matters into our own hands and commission new works. And a lot of the things we play are from new American composers. Awesome. And the piece you heard today was from a new American composer named Dan Visconti. Oh, oh that was great. Black yes. Now you're going to be playing for the kids here, too, right? Yes. We also make sure that we visit schools here. I'm originally from Sarasota, so it's very important for me to give back to the community that kind of created this and made this able to happen. So this week we're visiting public schools and private schools, doing educational outreach, and we're also performing a concert this Thursday at 8 p.m. at Florida Studio Theater. Well, I think the concept is just great, because a lot of kids, when they introduce strings in the schools, even if they still do, you know, they think they're boring, they don't like the classical yeah. music. Like, you're showing just new and innovative ways to use these string instruments. The kids yeah. must just love this. Yes. And, and with chamber music, I love, you don't have a conductor, so I love watching you watch each other. <laughs> I can see all the communication going on here. And it's very passionate. There's a lot of passion going on with this group. It, it yeah. seems it like you guys have an, um, I, it, well, like you mentioned, a little passion, so it's like interacting. So when you do something, does the other person know what to do next? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems question. improv, but you yeah. are all playing off a of music that was either written by you or arranged by you or someone else? Yes. So it isn't, you're not correct. just extemporaneously playing. Everything is scripted and planned on the music. Well, speaking of new music, you have an album. We do. We have a new album coming out in the beginning of 2017. It's going to feature new music from American composers, including this piece. Ooh. Oh, that yes. will be exciting. Is it uh, difficult to find repertoire for, for your group? or uh, Is there a lot of people out there composing now for quintets? Well, at the beginning, it was very difficult. Yeah. And we've been very lucky to receive a number of awards, which have allowed us to commission new works and also do arrangements of some of our favorite pieces. Our last album was all Radiohead covers. Oh, wow. So we did a oh, lot fun. of Radiohead on yeah. our last album. That's oh. awesome. So when we say we haven't heard anything like that, that's true. <laughs> this is I, new. It's possible. Well, you <laughs> do have the opportunity to hear that uh, this uh, Thursday, November 10th, at Florida Studio Theater. You can get your tickets online with uh, floridastudiotheater.org. Give them a call. And uh, just love your music. Can you play us something else? I think we can. You what can. have you got for us? All right, well, I grew up here in the 80s, so we're going to play something from the 80s. Oh, good. All right. All right. Great. Let's that hear fits it. right in. Super right fun. Suncoast.com. Just another way we're here for you. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case, we want them up on their feet happy again. They've gotten their life back. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC 7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. For Hillary, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, today is a day to vote and then wait. Thousands rushing to the polls in these final voting hours to make sure their voice is heard in this 2016 campaign. The wait to see who wins can take a toll on us, how some Suncoast businesses are looking to help you not to stress so much on the end result of today's election. Let's get a check on the weather now with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan.
That's right. Take a walk on the beach. It's nice out there right now. We have some clouds moving through the central U.S. and some storms over the southern portion of Texas right now associated with some energy digging there. Eventually, there will be changes headed our way as a result of a cold front, which will tend to cool us down a little bit as we push through the rest of this week. Currently, uh, it's not too cool out there. 84 degrees, but a beautiful day for this election day. We have a few clouds around. Dew point at 56. More of your forecast coming up at 5. ABC 7 News at 7 weeknights. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Stolarski much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. And welcome back. Sarasota is known for its mid-century modern architecture. And this weekend is the third annual Sarasota Mod Festival. We'll celebrate that distinct design here on the Sun Coast. And our design guy, Lucas Calvacchio, is here with a preview of a great home. Like, I heard about some of the... Uh, upgrades and remodeling that was yeah, done to it, yeah. and I'm just this, amazed. I mean, this, this whole weekend is just fascinating. If you are a fan of architecture or design, or you're just kind of curious about, you know, what, what people's houses are like inside, yeah. <laughs> this is your weekend to How geek out. How did you out. know that about us? Yeah, no, well, I mean, huh, I love it too. You know, I want to see what my neighbor's uh, houses look like. So, well, so tell really, us about MOD. Like, what is the MOD weekend actually? So really what it is, is MOD is a celebration of a specific style of architecture that really came to fruition here in Sarasota. Minnesota and Los Angeles, California. So uh, I don't know that people really understand just how influential architecture in Sarasota is around the world. Um, mm -hmm. One house in particular I think that a lot of people talk about is the Umbrella House mm -hmm. and I do have some footage of that here. You can see this time lapse where the owners they recently did a restoration and they rebuilt this canopy over the house. This canopy sits on top of the house and extends over the pool area and this right here if you ask me what modern architecture is this is the epitome of it. It is uh, clean lines, soaring glass wow. panels, um, lighter than air, and uh, a lot of these homes typically, you know, really it's about embracing the outdoors and trying to bring that outdoors inside. These are some uh, photos on the inside of the house, and really it's like it's like a central space, and all the rooms empty into that space. Wow. And so I, I think is this house? It, this house is on Lido Shores, which is just north of St. Armand Circle. Mm -hmm. And what's great about it is a lot of the houses that are going to be featured this weekend are all concentrated in that Lido Shores oh, neighborhood. Okay. Uh -huh. So if we wanted to poke so around so yes, exactly. that would you be where you do it. Well, Saturday those are the homes Sunday. I want to see on Lido. <laughs> <laughs> Was this yeah, movement kind of coincident with Frank Lloyd Wright? Or did it, were they yeah, paralleled? So it, it, it all ties into that general time period, right? Sarasota School of Architecture, right. Paul Rudolph, Ralph Twitchell, Phil Hiss, some of these iconic names, right. and they all were concentrated here in the 1950s, and they just, it was like this burst of creativity, and they created some really amazing designs that, you know, I learned an interesting tidbit. People like to refer to it as mid-century design. 
<laughs> so is that Arch where oh. mod came from? Like, what yeah, is exactly. Mod? Well, because architects don't really care for that term mid-century because it defines it to a specific period. Yeah, like it stopped then. Right. Uh -huh. This is modern architecture, still very relevant today, mm -hmm. and influences. In fact, some of the other uh, open houses this weekend are newer homes okay. that take their stylistic wow. cues from other houses. Yeah. Here's one mm -hmm. of the original oh, houses. Cool. This oh, is the Heron House down wow. in Venice extraordinarily rare opportunity to get inside that house this weekend. Here is Phil Hiss's studio. That is on Lido Shore. Several other beautiful homes uh, there. And as I mentioned, newer homes that are going to be featured as well that take their cues from these original designs. Beautiful. There's one in particular, this one here, mm -hmm. designed by Don Chapel in 2000. It's supposed to mimic a medieval Italian Hillside Village. It, oh. uh, 17 different roof lines, soaring panels mm. of glass. Everything can be opened up with the outdoors. Oh, cool. I mean, it's just, I, I, I don't know. I love architecture. I love this stuff. Yeah. And, and I had such a blast getting a sneak peek of some of these houses this weekend. I wanted to get behind those closed doors and see what was <laughs> in there. And so, it really, this is everyone's chance this so weekend. So, you can go on a tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So All the houses are open. There will be tours, lectures from well-known architects, oh, even nice. a trolley tour if you don't feel like oh, walking wow. around. And, and people oh. live in these houses? Yes, they oh, do. Oh, I like that. <laughs> and, and, and even a couple are on sale. So. There you go. Oh, really? yeah. well, they well, I, I have a, a quick question. It may yeah. be stupid. So, you know, when I think of modern design, I think of very sleek lines and things like that but then when I think of mid-century I don't always think that goes with that modern how do you unite the two it's it, it, it's really about um, sort of commonalities in terms of that clean line also uh, use of natural elements embracing okay. wood grains embracing how structures are put together so okay. like in that umbrella house you can see the steel that holds up the canopy yeah, okay. inside the home you can see the wood joints and the things and the way the rooms are all kind of structured together. So it's embracing. I get it now. Right, yeah. you got it. I got it. Look at that. I learned together. something new, and you too can learn something new. So the Sarasota Mod Festival is this weekend, November the 11th through the 13th. For more information, you want to go to sarasotamod.com. And next, we answer some of your viewer emails. We'll be right back. If you're trying to balance caring for your mother and being a mother to your children, we can help. It's what we do. Call Granny Nannies today. A helping hand and a gentle heart. The time has finally come. This is by far the most important vote that you've ever cast. Are you ready to go to the poll? Who will be your next president? Election night. This is where the Sun Coast turns for answers. The powerhouse team of ABC News and Scott Dennis, Haley Wilgus, Alan Cohn. Election night, live on ABC7. Brought to you locally by Florida Leather Gallery and Mata Brothers Furniture. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. The official salon of ABC7. Coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Selling your home? Insist on a 3D showcase tour from Gulf Shores Realty. Virtual tours are flat and boring and look more like a slideshow than a tour. A 3D tour from Gulf Shores Realty is like actually walking through the home without the drive. Get instant access to your next home from any device. 
Multiple views give homebuyers a perspective like no other. For a limited time, mention ABC7 and Gulf Shores Realty will provide a complimentary 3D tour with your new listing. My dad is my hero, and I wanted to give him a chance to live life and be happy. Granny Nannies has been a huge help. It has contributed to the health and happiness of my dad, for sure. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Welcome back. We love to share viewer emails with you. So we have one from Lynn, and she wants to talk about our guide dog, Wrigley. Lynn writes in, I love seeing Wrigley on the show. Where is he when he's not on camera? Lynn, I get asked this question all the time, and I know my coworkers are cracking up thinking about it. So Wrigley is actually on what we call in doggy training world on a tie down at my <laughs> desk. And this view was taken yesterday by our producer, Matt. Then he put this on his social media and said, this is my view every day because Wrigley lays there and looks at him. <laughs> <laughs> but he has a bed. He has lots of toys. He is safely contained, so he can't get into anything he shouldn't be into. And either hurt anything in the office or hurt himself. Just walk the hallway. Okay. And he, squished, you yeah. girls know you just kind of step over him as you walk to your desk because he's very chill. I he's like a very that. good dog. He Tied is. Down. That's, uh, can I put Scalzi on a oh. 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 Wow, that's a different story. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. I don't know if he would let you. <laughs> is he well trained too? Yes, gracious. That's a whole different story <laughs> there, yeah. Joey was worried about My getting two goodness. minutes. We got more than that now. Oh. Bring it on. Holy cow. <laughs> I need some chew toys. He's very active. <laughs> <laughs> He's very active. <laughs> All right, on that note, while the Scalzies go off and have quiet time, you can find us online. Facebook, of course, Twitter, Instagram, or give us an email, suncoastview at mysuncoast.com. And Wrigley himself has Instagram and Twitter. We call it Wrigley's View. Can you imagine what he has to say about all of us? A lot. <laughs> yep, you can find out online. Look for those links. All right, we are ready to spice things up even more, and that's mm. what Chef Narendra is good for. We're going to head to the kitchen with Curry Station. Stay with us. <laughs> the all-new mysuncoast.com. Just another way we're here for you. You only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org slash HPV. From our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Haley Wilgus. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. And our ability to vote shouldn't be questioned at some last-minute complaint by someone who wants to get in the way of our access to justice. Rigged voting allegations being reported on Anna Maria Island, how the possible accusations could affect the ballots of hundreds of voters. And now taking a quick look at Sun Coast Traffic Watch. Looks like there is just a little bit of red on the map there, but right now 75 looks nice and green, moving slow, smoothly, that is. If you still need to head to the polls, you do have until 7 o'clock. Let's head over to Bob. Yeah, smooth sailing as far as the weather goes, too, Haley. I tell you, we've got beautiful weather out there. Currently just a few clouds around. It's 84 degrees, and the dew point is at 56. Southeast winds at 7, the pressure 30.07 inches. The forecast calling for mild conditions through the evening. More at 5. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction, Hope, and Helpline now for a free assessment. 
I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven, gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Rich finishes, beautiful colors, and over a thousand different fabrics and leathers to choose from. With Bassett Custom Furniture at Bacon's Furniture and Design, you can design every room to match your own unique style. And every piece is quality handcrafted right here in America. Come in today and we'll guarantee your Bassett Custom Furniture will be shipped before the holidays. With our complimentary design service, start designing, start loving. Only at Bacon's Furniture and Design in Sarasota. Nobody beats Bacon's. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Pro Cream by Dr. Anna, known as the facelift in a bottle, is an all-natural anti-aging formula that tightens skin and muscles, making you look younger. It's made in Sarasota with real pearls, Chinese herbs, and no preservatives. Visit our store or at PearlCreamByDrAnna.com. Coming up Wednesday at 4 on Suncoast View, we get a special sneak peek of Florida Studio Theater's Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. That's going to celebrate female artists who paved the way for decades. We love strong women. And hey, another strong woman, Linda, is going to give us some of Linda's life lessons. Plus, Suncoast for Sale and Chef Judy features the best places to dine out on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, and we are back in the kitchen with Narendra from Curry Station. Chef, what are you making today? It smells amazing. I know. This is one of my favorite dishes. Uh, this is very famous in, in India, Tibet, Nepal, and Bhutan. It's called like a vegetable momo, but these look like the same dumpling, mm -hmm. but we make very different ways. Like uh, today we are making the vegetarian. You can make anything. You can use chicken, lamb, or beef. Mm. And you see you have, uh, what is that, uh, the dough in your hand? Yes. It's uh, like we just made the fresh dough. So mm. if you get, feel like uh, it's hard to make the dough, you can buy the wonton seed. But the mixture we have today, cabbage, carrot, scallion, and we have like a little bit of potatoes and uh, some spices like a turmeric, cumin, coriander, and salt. That's and the it. filling itself is amazing because yes, we found it extra it over here. So <laughs> basically, I'm going to show you the how to fold the dumpling. And also, we have the one chutney here, roasted tomato and the soybean. We grind with the ginger, garlic, and salt and turmeric. That's it. It's pretty simple. So <laughs> That doesn't sound simple, yeah, Chef. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> so we're going to put it in the middle and just like that in a long way. Can uh -huh. I have some of yours? Yes, please. So long yeah. way, and, long way. That is. and we're gonna f uh, fold oh, wow. in the middle. You see, by this finger, we're gonna push push it inside, like uh -huh. that. and and these two finger coming around, and we're gonna fold it like that. Okay, okay. like and a pinch. You yes, gotta pinch yeah, it. Yeah, pinch it in here, and seal it. Seal it again. Okay. Push it in the middle. Oh wow. Push it in the middle. Mine and like that. here, seal it. it's pretty simple. Oh no. And. Push it in the middle. But Beth, yours doesn't Seal look like it. his. I know, and that's what I was saying. <laughs> no, you're doing pretty good. Well, you put well, a lot of filling, so oh, that's why. Push the yeah. filling out. Push so, it okay, you can discard here. So don't put the less filling and don't put the more filling because if you put the more filling, you cannot fold it. But if you put the less filling, it's not, you can't enjoy eating also. Okay. So it should be perfect balance. That's and a uh, I totally couldn't oh, see what he was doing, he's so got I made a, a ravioli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong culture. You're the man. You can do that like that, too. You know what I mean? I like but, that. I did one look. Yes, you're doing, you're doing yeah, pretty good. Yeah, but that actually looks yes, really good. Yes, it's good. Pretty good. Looks like a purse. So, a purse. Yes. And maybe I can show you maybe yeah. another one, yeah, uh, right. which so is very popular. Like, uh, you see the uh, dumplings everywhere in that shape. It uh, seems like you filled yeah. yours with a lot. How come yeah. yours didn't run out of space? Uh, just uh, use talented. this finger to uh, to use the filling uh, not coming out. So okay. we're gonna push it in. Push this side uh -huh. this time and press it here. Like a butterfly. Yes. Oh here. wow! Here. And he does it quickly. Here, 
Look yeah. at you. Yeah. Fancy wancy pants. Ooh. So you can see that. Oh, you that can, uh, you cool. can make that's so, so do you use different shapes it looks like yeah, you can, inside? Right. Yeah. yeah, you can use any, any kind of shape. Doesn't matter. Oh. Or you can uh, make like a ravioli too, it's fine. <laughs> and, and basically boil the water, okay. and if you want to uh, infuse a little bit of spices in there, like a cloves okay. and the uh, cinnamon or cardamom. And you just put it on a steamer and, like this? And we're going to, one is already just ready, you can see it. All right, we'll switch so, this one out. Yes, with the... and we're going to put it right here. So they're healthy because they're steamed. Oh, of course. No and, fry, okay. And uh, all the spices are there, the uh, raw vegetables, is they going to give you. How long does it take? It's, it takes 10 to 15 minutes. Minutes, oh, fast! 10 to I like that. Minutes. So, if you guys want to try over I here, I do want to try. Now, I'm going to uh, take one and pass it down. Here. Okay. No, we have over here. You guys oh, can they already try. Have uh, you, if you want to try a little bit fresh That's also. a plate, John, and a spoon. Mm. Okay. Mm. There you go. Mm. <laughs> here I don't have a plate. You guys. Oh, thank and you. And you these are called Moma, oh, correct? Sure. Moma? Oh, yes, vegetable momo. Vegeta oh, momo. Mm. Vegetable momo. Vegetable momo. This may be my new favorite Indian food. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it is amazing. Let me get one of these forks, mm -hmm. excuse me, guys. Sure. Mm. You need one more? Yeah, plate. Mm. Yeah. You can have a have plate. Have some sauce. Mm. Mm. And, and of course, all the other favorites mm. that we always have from Curry Station in front here. Is this part of your lunch buffet, or can we yeah, order we, it separately? We, yeah, we uh, make this one. Mm. Uh, right now, I don't have in the menu, but we do specials sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the special, we sell this one. Is it an appetizer oh, type meal? Good. Or no? Or you can eat as an appetizer. You can eat as a breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's, uh, <laughs> no. It goes uh, very well. Ooh, it's Delicious. Oh, it is, it is. This delicious. is a wonderful yeah. treat. And Bobeth, you were very talented at that. So good to know, right? And the chutney is also itself very delicious. You know, it goes very well. And it's very good with the winter also. Mm -hmm. In winter, make the nice. Thank you. Also, you can use like a chicken stock mm -hmm. in it and make like a soup and put the dumplings in there, give to the kids. All right, well, it's pretty thank amazing. You so thank much. you so much, so Chef John and Linda. Well. You picked a great day to join yeah. us. Thank thank they're down there having a ball. Thank you. Thank you. Go visit Chef Narendra at Curry Station and take some time to enjoy the Sun Coast view. Have a great Thank you.